All right, number three. A performance specification relies on, let's see, and then answer A would be commissioning to confirm performance one year after substantial completion. Answer B would be a description of how a material needs to perform without specifying the maker of the material. Number C would be a series of at least three choices of each material topic. And then D, the addition of or equal in order to provide opportunities for the contractor to find cheaper but equivalent materials. So what this is really talking about is there are two basic kinds of uh, specification books. And the two basic kinds are proprietary and performance. There's a couple different names because there's lots of different versions of each one. Um, but the sort of two ideas here are uh, proprietary is when I say, all right, here's the thing I want you to put in. So let's say it's a uh, example I usually use is carpet. Let's say it's a, a, a particular kind of carpet, and so I'm going to say it's a Mannington or, or it's a, um, uh, you know, it's a, another carpet maker, and I'm going to give you a specific example of a particular carpet uh, and the model number and all the sort of uh, accompanying information. And then the contractor, when they bid the project, uh, is going to include that particular carpet choice in their estimate and then when they build out the project when they've been chosen as the GC uh, would actually install that particular carpet that you would, it's a proprietary, you've set a particular named project, uh, named uh, material. Sometimes proprietary you might have three different named materials, that's a sort of a classic thing, so sort of give a little bit of variety so that for some reason uh, one of them is much more expensive than you thought, then that gives you a way of kind of uh, giving a, a couple of choices. Um, sometimes uh, uh, giving three just sort of gives, uh, you know, one contractor may have a relationship with one distributor and another contractor may have a relationship with a different distributor. It's not really a reasonable thing to sort of choose a contractor based on the fact that, you know, their carpet supplier doesn't carry the, the specific one that you chose. So there's a bunch of reasons that you might have more than one name, but essentially a proprietary system is where you're naming the particular uh, uh, materials. So it could be uh, hardware for doors, hinges and, and handles and that kind of thing. It could be carpeting, could be uh, uh, different drywall types. It could be, there's all kinds, of, you know, anything that's being named, it, it's a, it would be a named thing where the specific maker and model would be given. That's proprietary. A performance spec, is where you're saying, okay, I'm not going to uh, give you the name of the uh, material. What I'm going to give you is what I need to have happen from this material. So for the carpet, you might say it has to be a carpet that has a, um, uh, a flame spread of such and such and a uh, acoustic uh, uh, NC rating of such and such, and a uh, uh, you know a durability rating from whatever the durability folks uh, on carpets would be uh, of of whatever that important thing you would need, uh, and so you'd be giving what performance you need to get from that carpet or from that door handle or from that uh, drywall system. Uh, and then the contractor's job is to then find a, an appropriate material that meets the performance. So this is kind of a funny thing. It's very, it's sort of two very different ways of approaching uh, a, a different, you know, these different ideas of how you approach uh, choosing materials. One is that the architect is in full control and is naming the product products, and the other one is saying this is this is the kind of thing we need, this is the performance we need, find us something that you think will be good. And the whole point of a performance uh, specification is that if the, the idea behind it is if the contractor has the freedom to look around and find something that meets all the needs, they have a strong desire because they're bidding against other contractors they have a strong desire to have their number be lower. And so they're looking for a way to bring the numbers down, but then they still have to meet the performance. And so the idea here is it's a way to get the contractors 
to find better, um, cheaper uh, materials that still meet the performance that you need them to meet. So when you see a question about performance specifications, it's almost always about uh, helping the owners get a cheaper building because you're providing enough information that the contractors are able to get the right and the right kind of product that's going to meet the performance needs, but that they have the choice to find cheaper versions than maybe the architect even knows about. One of the things you'll notice is that when you get a, a you know something in the you get one of those big binders from a manufacturer, they almost never have the price list in them. And why is that? Because they don't really want the architects to know about the pricing. I mean, you can always find it. You can always get that pricing. But uh, there's a strong desire to have the architects just sort of fall in love with the, the materials and then specify them uh, so that things get in there uh, into the, into the uh, projects. But that isn't always the cheapest uh, or the most sort of uh, efficient way to, to move forward. Uh, and so this is a the performance idea is a way to kind of get around that issue. Contractors should know more about pricing than the architects do. Uh, it's sort of the natural breakup of the expertise. Uh, so the idea is put all that into their category. So all of that said, when you see performance, what performance specifications are about is going to be about B, a description of how a material needs to perform without specifying the actual maker of the material. Specifications might be all proprietary. They might be all performance. I think like in Germany and places like that, they're almost always performance. Um, uh, often though, there'll be some mix of those things that you'll have proprietary for a whole lot of stuff and performance for particular things that uh, you just think it's going to be the most logical way to, to move forward that the contractor will be able to have more flexibility and find better products for you.